so <coughs> let's take a look at some of the other smart features you can do with, with um, a mixer like this we'll look at how to make virtual instruments first uh, I'm going to make uh, two virtual instruments out of this Anagolas um, and to do that I'll add two new channels and they are uh, uh, numbered uh, 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 3 and 4 um, every time you add a new uh, it'll just inclinate the, uh, the numbers but you can change that and it's a little bit uh, triggery because if I right click on, 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 on this here the detune ghost I get a context menu where I can move the channel up and downstream. For instance, if I move it to the right, it will now see now it's Detune Ghost that has uh, FX channel three or R FX channel three, and still defaultly going to master. Um, that is a little bit of a problem because. Um, I actually also like to do something like this in my song editor. I uh, can we see that at the same time? Yeah, if I bloop, do like this. this is see, I also like to do like this here and say, yeah, in my channel, why not add? the FX channel, right? So now it's saying to me here in the song editor that this goes to FX1 and of course I should do the same thing here it says I'm going to 2 but of course that will not be true if I do this move to the right See now it goes to three, and because this is hard coded, that has nothing to do with the event I just made here. So that will still say I'm going to two, but that's not true anymore. So if I do this, I cannot shift the channels up and down. Why shift the channels up and down? That's because you want to make families. Uh, if you like to have all your percussions. Uh, um, uh, in a block, so to speak. Later, I'm talking later all the time, I know it, it will be possible to color or kind of mark out these guys in families, so it's obvious that they belong together. Um, someday. We have a lot of things to do, no problem. It'll come. Um, then I can't really uh, uh, do uh, any movement of channel in the mixer but perhaps it's better to have a direct connection so that you know that well I'm going to look at that one. I don't know that's up to you but let's look at making these two here channel 3 and channel 4 into virtual instruments so, uh, we have here uh, this uh, analogous and um, if I play a note you see a tiny signal is going through here to the master uh, this is because I have t uh, turned it down so you can hear my voice again um, but we're now going to um, increase that signal by two instruments because I'm going to make virtual copies of uh, this instrument here to do that I highlight it and I send it to uh, my FX3 channel then play a note see there's more signal coming out now so this is a virtual copy of this instrument 
I can also send it to this instrument here. I still have this selected and now I send it here and if I play a note even more. Why is this interesting? It's, it's a way to duplicate, uh, to duplicate your instruments uh, without adding new instruments in, in the song mixer oh, in the song editor, sorry um, so, so that would be one thing but you can do something that is much more interesting because you can do what is called wet-dry uh, separations and um, all the instruments right now are not different so um, this is a copy both here are copies of uh, uh, this one and they all being sent to mixer but what if I say I'm not going to take this signal and send it to mixer I'm actually going to take it out of master now it's not going to master in fact it's only going to FX3 and FX4 but they are both going to master. What is the result then? Well, if I play what's going to master right now is actually only him and him. Not him. He's not going anywhere. He's mute. He's sending his signal to this and this guy but he's not sending to master he's been called dry and these guys here are wet and we're going to make them wet by adding effects to them so that we can have different effects for instance we could put in I don't know delay there's now a delay on this version of the instrument and I can also put something in here whatever uh, filler. <coughs> so if I now play my dry and not received signal That is not disturbing the complete output. If it was going to the uh, to the master, that uh, uh, unchanged signal would uh, what could we say uh, pollute the complete picture of these two uh, wet channels. So you can change the sound landscape by putting effects on separate channels and having what is called dry wet separations so that's a dry wet separation you send the signal to the channels that you want to have some wet uh, as wet uh, channels and consequently you have to send that signal to the master to the master but the dry channel are not sent to master so that will not be output it is only sending its standard dry signal to the two uh, variants of uh, this channel so dif different instruments different instrument output but copies of the original instrument dry widths channel separation right um, let's just say that we'll s come back to side chaining in the next episode bye